Hey, so you are setting up or you have set up search on your website or app and naturally you want it to be fast, you want it to be relevant, you want it to be amazing. To help with that, we've put together an ebook, seven ways to get more out of your Algolia search. And this video is just gonna serve as a quick overview of those seven ways. But for loads more detailed information, check out the ebook linked in the description below. Let's get started. So simply put, your search can only be as good as your data. The first thing that you can do is to get rid of any attributes that are not useful. So the only ones that are left should fit into four categories. Attributes that are useful for searching, attributes that are useful for filtering, attributes that are useful for the display, and those that have an impact on the ranking. Other ways that you can tidy up your data are by removing duplicates, reducing any descriptions that are longer than they need to be, and by keeping a consistent formatting throughout. Now there are two types of relevance that need to be configured. Textual relevance, how well the results match the query, and business relevance, how important each one of those results are for your business. Now like fine tuning anything, the best way is to get up close and to see how your search is performing. Be meticulous about reviewing your most popular queries and making sure that the right results are getting returned and the wrong results are getting filtered out. Of course you want your website or your app to deliver a fantastic user experience and your search should not be any different. Have a big search bar, return results from the first keystroke, highlight keywords that match the query, have facets to refine results, and use federated search to return multiple types of results at once. Now, we mentioned getting close with your search and seeing how it's performing, but you can go so much deeper with analytics view actual customer journeys, and get insights into how your search is performing for your business, right down to the conversion rate for a specific search term. And this, especially when combined with A-B testing, will allow you to make iterations in your search configuration that always make sure you're moving in the right direction. With textual and business relevance taken care of, we're now ready to go to the next step with merchandising. And this enables you to manually reorder results for a specific query. For example, you could temporarily boost a certain brand when users search for phone. Now with merchandising, you can make sure that your search experience is always aligned with your specific catalog, your promotional campaigns, and your marketing strategies. With half of all web traffic being mobile, your mobile search experience needs to be as well polished as your desktop search. Think carefully about what information really belongs on a limited screen space and help your users interact with their keyboard by offering suggestions. Mobile is all about reducing friction for the user. So think about how you might be able to use device capabilities such as GPS, biometric sensors, payments, voice and even image input. One of the most powerful and the most exciting abilities of search today is personalization, which allows users to get results that match both their query and their preferences. And these are based on their interaction with your website or app, which means more relevant results for everyone. This has been a super quick overview of those seven ways, but please do check out the ebook for loads more detailed information on how to set up each one of these things. We hope that this helps you build an amazing search, improve your performance, increase your conversions, and help you build trust with your customers.